guys, how are you? It's Lisa here, and today I'm gonna to show you how I set up my ice bath that I now do every day on a daily basis. Um, so, you know, I researched, of course, the Wim Hof method, and I listened to a lot of things about Rhonda Patrick and just the benefits of ice cold therapy. And for me, it was just getting a little bit too pricey to continue to fill up my bathtub with, you know, $10 worth of ice. I wanted to do this on a daily basis, so I, got one of these guys and I want to show you how we set it up. So my husband and I went to Home Depot and we bought this 7.9 cubic feet deep freezer. Okay, so we bought the deep freezer. I'm gonna come down with you guys. Um, and then, so you plug it in, or you plug it in, you fill it about halfway because if you fill it up all the way, then by the time you get in it, the water's gonna splash out. So we just filled it up halfway and then you plug it in and you need to heat it, you know, I mean, sorry, you need to cool it for about maybe a full day in the beginning because you want to get the water temperature down to about, you know, 40 degrees or whatever temperature you want to be doing it. Um, so you fill it up halfway, you obviously unplug it. If you do not unplug it, you can get electrocuted. So please make sure you unplug it before you get in. And then to clean it, that was one of the things we had to figure out and we had to kind of play around with it a few times. So on all of these freezers that you buy, let's see, make sure you can see this. There is a little opening where you can drain it. So what we bought was a one-way one -way valve and then we bought this little other guy. I don't know what this is called to be honest with you, but I'm gonna zoom in on it right there, okay? So what you do then is you get one of these, um, tubes let's call them tube right and then to drain it i'm gonna so you guys see you just bring it in here okay then you would open the valve all right and then the water flow out and then all i have to do is get your hose and fill it up again so that's how you clean it and you can do this once a week maybe you know a, a little bit more often but i make sure that i shower off and i use soap and everything before i get in it just so it's the cleanest that it can be um, and I'll show you guys what we did on the inside. So this is what it looks like on the inside. You could either sit at that part, right? Or you, I like to bring my butt this way so I get a little deeper in it. And if you can see, it's only filled about halfway because if I get any lower than it, the water ends up splashing out. To unplug, right, to get rid of the water, you unplug that valve right there and then the water can reach out. Right now it's actually plugged in because I wanna get a little bit colder. Um, I haven't had it plugged in, so I'll plug it in maybe for an hour or two. And you can see the temperature's at about 55 degrees. This is our Mr. Shark. So then I just, you know, let him float. And this is what it looks like. And it's nice to put a little towel down there, just so when you get out, you're not getting your whole garage. All right guys, so that's it. That's how you set it up. Once I get this guy cooled down, I will jump in there for you and you can see what it looks like. Okay hey guys, I'm gonna show you how I get in. I like to breathe, put some music on. So this is the part you can get a little lower. Obviously it's unplugged. And then you can sit down all the way. And if I wanna go a little lower, it's gonna take me a little bit of time, but I will submerge my shoulders. So that's how it's done.